name is Daisy. Um, I'm a sophomore at Oglala High School. Sometimes when you look at the night sky and see a star, it isn't actually a star anymore. It could be the past of a star that still continues to shine. She relates to stars in this way because as many as the stars in the sky, the scars on her arms illustrate a story of her past. A story of a little girl that used to tear herself apart just to escape. Escape from what? Her body, her mind, the world around her. She couldn't stand looking herself in the mirror, her wide rib cage, weird knees, asymmetrical features. She couldn't stop the mean things her mind made up about herself, not pretty enough, not smart enough, just not enough. These were the thoughts that occupied her brain every minute, every second. Sometimes it got so bad she'd get the same feeling she did every time there were too many people around her, the overwhelming feeling of bricks on her chest while she attempted to gasp for air. It was too much for her to wrap her young brain around, giving her a constant feeling of pressure on her. In return, she found something to distract her from that pressure, a thing that in the long run would do the exact opposite of what she wanted, hurt people. She hated hurting people, disappointing them, even upsetting them in the slightest. It triggered something in her that was worse than any pain she could physically inflict on herself. She wasn't sure what that something was, but she knew she hated it. When it came to herself, though, she didn't care. She didn't care about the pain, the consequences, or how it would affect those around her, her sisters, her parents, her friends. She just didn't care. Although it was selfish, she began to enjoy it in a way. She enjoyed the pain. It was like a drug, and she had gained an addiction, an addiction to escaping. But all addictions are able to be worked through with time, and now, five years later, that little girl isn't so small anymore, and her addiction isn't as strong. While the years of therapy and constant feeling of disappointment from loved ones helped prompt her to get better, it was her that made herself better in the long run. She knew that no matter what, if she based her happiness on people or objects, she would never find true happiness. So she learned to say no and not be as hard on herself. She's still trying to figure out the things and people that are good for her and she should keep in her life. And through this, she's realized she can't focus on others all the time. She wants to be able to focus on herself. She found her worth and realized she was so much more than the labels given to her by herself and others. The urges are still there in the back of her head. Maybe they'll be there forever. But for now, she is stronger than what she used to be, and she will con continue to keep getting stronger. She tries her hardest to keep everyone around her happy now because she knows what it's like to be unhappy and never wants others to feel how she once did. She also wants to make up for all the pain she caused them before, and most importantly, Remind them that their story isn't set in stone. Just like the pattern of the stars and the scars on her arms, things will fade and change constantly. But just like hers and the stars, their story is far from over.